Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tiffany, this is Rose, and we're Rhodes and Rose. This is a 2006 3500 Dually. Yeah, some of you guys know it's the T1N. She's a prize model. We just hit 150K, so she's still young. We got a lot of miles left on her, and I can't wait to share all those adventures with you. But until then, let's check out the van. All right, so up here, uh, it's pretty standard front cabin that you're going to see in most T1 ends. Uh, we did upgrade the CD player a little bit to a Pioneer. It's nice, got Bluetooth capability. I have this little safety mechanism. I was a camp counselor at like 20 different summer camps. So this will break a window and this will cut a seat belt. No one's had to use it. You hope they don't. Uh, here's a cool little secret that you guys should know about is we have a little stash tray. I like to put all of your like personal belongings, rings, uh, like money, whatever. It's kind of clutch to have that. I have this little matching setup here, super cheap off Amazon. Would I get it again? Maybe not, but it's nice for the aesthetic and it matches my Pendleton blanket, but they do rip really easily and uh, dirty pretty quickly. Nonetheless, it looks cool for the meantime, you know. All right, well back here, we got some other things. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, I actually just heated up a nice little kettle of water. I like to have tea in here, coffee, hot cocoa, double gas burner. We got that, you know, wooden counter, which is really nice. I like those live edges, but this one's nice. Electrically pumped water to the 20 gallon fresh water tank. We got a little stopper to hold all the water in there. Decent, I like it. Uh, all the switches for that are in here. Right here we have my little mechanism I made out of leather. It's very impressive. We got our pull out cutting board, chop chop. We got all those utensils that you need, 10 herbs and spices because we do it right. Uh, same, same. And then we have that Dometic fridge that everyone loves. I like it so much. Honestly, it works functionally really well. We've got food that stays really cold in the freezer. It holds a surprising amount of food and can keep me fed for like a week at least. Underneath here, we have all of the under kitchen things, your five gallon propane tank, the 20 gallon fresh water, compost, trash, cleaning supplies, pretty standard first aid kit. Um, I rent this van out, so I like to make sure that people have every single thing that they can think of that they need to rent this and not think about anything. And I've been doing that for three years. So by this point, I feel like I've gotten her dialed in with all the little niche things. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these cabins. We've got, you know, the little tour guide books, which are really awesome. Of course, we have to have that Oregon Atlas because we need to know where the heck we are. I love this thing because honestly, some places, as you guys know, are getting a little overpopulated and every now and then I just kind of want to explore something new. So I'll open this up, see where I'm at, look for something cool and different and, you know, explore. That's what we're meant to do, you know? instead of over visiting these hot spots for the gram. We're all guilty. I got my snacks up here. I've got some bare bones cutlery and dinnerware. I love this brand. They've been so close. They also make this cool little picnic knife. Everything about this brand is actually really cool. And they haven't sponsored me yet, but if they're listening, I can. <laughs> uh, they're awesome. They make a lot of stuff that's meant to like just be outdoorsy. It kind of gives me a Pendleton feel but it is a little bit more accessible for a lot of us and it's local to Portland. So anything I can do in this van to support local is really important to me. Um, I think it's important that we like lift up our communities and support them and support them in our vehicles, you know? Have some acupuncture needles. In case anyone needs some acupuncture, hit me up later when I have my uh, license. And up here, just like random stock things that I like to keep, some chia, some quinoa. Um, and a little guest book from all the guests that have been in my van. It's actually really prized to me. It's decently filled out. We've got photos and stuff of people in there. we got Elisa Truo. I met her one night at one of her shows and she is a babe. And I just was so stoked and so I was just telling people about how I'm starting to become a touring doctor for musicians and I really just want to do anything I can to support that um, community and uh, help them have sustainable health but you have all these guests that would come in here and talk about their little trips and really tell you and show you like what their experiences were like 
we have influencers or like phenomenal photographers sam griggs she's amazing i recommend checking out her stuff great adventure photographer got couples going all over and it's just sweet they tell me things that i don't really want to know about like how they parked somewhere illegal and got woken up by the cops and i'm like why are you telling me that but i actually kind of like to know those kinds of things something i'd do we have this little railing system as you guys know things slide around a lot in vans um and that's definitely a place where things do so i've got the double-sided 3m tape to hold things in place i got this little fake planter so it can spice up the spot i even have my soap taped onto um onto this so that way it doesn't slide around but i like it it's functional it looks aesthetically pleasing and then when I'm actually living in it, I'll put all of the little things I'm using a lot more often right there. So we got a lot going on with the fabric department over here. We have this little macrame dealie. I like it because it covers up my blackout curtain that I have. I basically just hold it up with some strings and roll it down. It's kind of, it's not, it's probably my least favorite feature right now because some of you know, like just getting a good curtain in here can be a little challenging but from the outside this is actually enough to block out a lot of the light and it looks pretty stealthy I've done some light checks at night and people can't really see much I also have another blackout curtain held up with the same mechanism again aesthetically I'm like not super stoked on it but it's functional and this one goes down pretty far so I can get a decent amount of privacy from the outside people can't tell if this is like a glamper van or if it's a maintenance van and I really like that as a single solo female traveling so I put it back up. I have like a little round dowel in here. It takes a little bit of work when people rent this out. I don't think they like this part because no one ever does it the way I like it. <laughs> it's pretty simple and I like that it fits right into that space. One little tie will do. Okay. I got these curtains. I used to work at Disneyland, so I pay attention to little details and I want people to feel like, you know, they're somewhere different in here. I've got the little leather latches right here with little buttons. Pull that out. And I like this because it gives me just enough privacy to where people can't really see what's going on inside, but I can see what's going on outside and it doubles as a bug net. So I actually work with this most of the time. I only use blackout at night if I need to, or if it's cold. But other than that, I love these guys actually. And then I got like little attention to detail, little hooks so I can hang my lantern. Um, I have a much better lantern by Bare Bones, by the way, that is clutch and I don't have it with me, but they're just my favorite. I got these little guys. Everyone I think in fan life has these, you know, Harbor Freight, little quick buy. And then I got my little sparrow up there um, and the cast iron hooks, which is pretty nice. It, it decently holds everything I need it to. So I really love having that. It's just like attention to the little details, you know. All right, so right here we have the lighting and just literally flip the switch. You have this overhead lighting. It's great at night when you just need a like quick little light, but it's a lot. It's really aggressive to be honest. I personally like the ambiance that you get from these little LED lights. They're cheap. They're on Amazon. I think everyone has them. And it's just nice to add that little bit of magic. I really like the way it looks at night. It just sets such a mood. Um, I also have this overhead dimmable light that's really, really fluorescent. It's a little too aggressive for me, especially at night, but it's nice to have options. This one doesn't run off the battery these guys do so um, at all times we have sources of light and then obviously I love these guys the votives I got them from Costco kind of simple stuff but I like that they can be brought to the hot springs and give you that like nice low lit warm ambiance without like doing too much light pollution I don't really like light pollution at night all right so for those ambiance lights I have a remote and then also when you're feeling lazy in bed and you want to just listen to that Bluetooth audio we got another remote so this is kind of clutch if you have like the iPad download a movie want to watch movies in bed you can control that in the front from this and then you get surround sound system from this 
and then the front. So it's kind of nice. It gives you that little bit of a movie theater vibe. I also eventually was thinking about putting some hooks in here and then like hanging the iPad so that way you could lay in bed and kick back. But you know, those projects to do endless. So something I really love about this van, she's a little older, so she's at 2006, like from the outside looks straight like a maintenance van. And I'm a solo female van lifing. And one thing that I worry about is security and safety and like, are people going to know that there's a girl alone in here? And so I definitely recommend keeping it more stealth from the outside. From the inside, I have the blackout curtains with the white side facing out. So people walking by oftentimes will think that this is just a maintenance van and I like keeping it that way because it makes me feel a little bit more secure. I know some girls will carry other forms of security. Um, I have mine, but it's nice to think smarter. One cool thing about this van is I got it registered as an RV and one of the things you have to have is a ventilation system and luckily we have that. So we just have a Dometic van, pretty standard. I try to baby it a little bit because there's a lot of plastic bits that do wear down quickly, including this little guy. So just get used to knowing that you're gonna have to maintain little, really inexpensive pieces that are hard to find. Uh, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool. It has the intake, outtake, keeps things fresh in here. When you're cooking, it's really nice. Make sure that you don't get that carbon monoxide poisoning. I do have a detector. I never leave it plugged in because honestly, um, when you're driving and it mine's plugged in, it'll flip on the alarm. So I found out that the day I got this fan, and the alarm went off and I was convinced that I was experiencing carbon monoxide poisoning. So I have two solar panels on top, 200 watts. Right here you can measure out what's going on in the house batteries, alternator, and uh, the solar panels all together. It reads the volts, the amps, how much you're using, um, and then how full your battery is. I've had these batteries, two six volts for their golf cart batteries. I've had them for three years and I think they're just starting to teeter out, but I know that range can change from person to person. All right, so over here, people don't realize that this is a composting toilet. It's my little guardian walking over. It. And we've got little eye, the pin and eyelet mechanism that holds it. Uh, I don't use this right now, but we do have a little tube that fans out all of the stink and um, dries out the solids. It's a nature's head. So it separates your solids and your liquids with the flip of this guy. You put your coconut peat moss in there. And then you, um, when it's flipped in this, then you just pee and it separates your liquids into this little jug. And then you spray it down with like white vinegar and water and it keeps the stink down as well. Um, and then for when I'm going out in nature, of course we got you know, if you need to do that. But um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I like it. It is slightly discreet. We have a joke called pooping or reading because I don't think anyone from out there really knows what I'm doing. And I bank on that probably more often than I should. But if you need a little privacy, I got that. I don't know. So people always ask me where the storage is at. In the back, it's pretty discreet, but it's a little different than some of the other builds I've seen. Right here, what I really like is this little pull-out drawer. Of course, you gotta make sure that there's like a locking mechanism because if you break too hard, that will slide out. But this thing fully pulls out and we definitely can put a lot of your day gear, your bed gear, whatever it is, I put right in here. That's quick, easy access. Uh, and then we have this 14 inch platform that's raised. This is pretty much where I put all of my stuff. Um, I have tire chains, the camping chair, uh, insulation from Overland. What are they called? Overland. Oh, Overland Van Project. Yeah, Overland Van Project. I have some of those window insulators. Um, but it's pretty nice. I got my little shoe bin. And then like part of the 
20 gallon fresh water tanks underneath there and it goes all the way through to the back so that's kind of where my garage space is under here we have a sea captain's hydraulic that you have two levers flat open and then you push this down and we have two wood pieces that fit into here and this is what creates your bed it's actually pretty quick and easy to do it's probably one of my favorite features of opening up the space um, we've had some van life gatherings where I've had like probably eight people sat here and then like three to five people here and we like totally had a little soiree and it was super sick because you have that like sound system in the seating so it has a lot of capacity for such a small space and I really love that. In this bench we have where all the electrical is I have an inverter over there the carbon monoxide detector um, what's cool is we do have that inverter that connects to these outlets that I have there's two plugs underneath the sink and then two on this little wall so uh, if you need to charge up the laptop or camera batteries whatever it is sometimes I'll even use it like when I'm at a festival and I need to glamp up a little bit it's a luxury to have for sure Hey guys, so this is Mello. He's a good boy. And he's gotten pretty used to the van life. He has a sister that has been my like tour cat for a minute, uh, any day meow. And they tolerate it pretty well. Um, the question I get most about being in a van with cats, and I do travel with two of them, is where do they poop? And I honestly just use the passenger doorstep and I make a little box for them there. And then if they do miss the box, then I just spray it out with a hose and neutralize it. So it's not the most glamorous thing. I do hope someone makes something for that space specifically, but they know that's where a potty goes. So they've been trained for that. And for the most part, they're well behaved. So they stay around, you know, and they have their little harness. If you are gonna train your cat, I recommend like 11 weeks or younger, but he does pretty good. He's purring right now. All right, guys. Well, this was the van. I hope you enjoyed the tour and learned some things. Thank you for checking us out. If you ever want to rent her out, that's a possibility through Go Camp Camper Vans. The link's going to be right down there. And um, thanks for being here. If you want to follow the adventure at Roads and Rose. Otherwise, don't forget to enjoy the journey and be well. Take care, guys.